Hey y'all, this is Ursula, the Harvey Container Gardener. Y'all, y'all know where I'm at. I'm outside. I'm about to go into my garden. I've been looking at some stuff and I said, okay, let me go ahead and put this on a video and bring my friends along with me so that they, they could see what I'm doing. So I just want to say thank you guys for uh, watching my videos and following along with me and commenting and Everything that y'all do, it's, it's an inspiration to me, y'all. So I thank y'all. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. I am. Today is Sunday. I'm off from work. I'm in my garden. So I am happy. Almost the end of February. Uh, I'm not sure what today's date. Maybe the 24th. I'm not sure. Uh, it's Sunday afternoon. The sun is bright. It is warm. But I'm not complaining, y'all. I am not complaining. I just want to kind of walk around the garden today, y'all, and kind of show y'all everything I got going on. Yes, I need to do another harvest, uh, but uh, I think I'm going to wait before I do the harvest, but I do need to do another harvest. But the collards and the cabbage that I harvested the other day, mwah. So... <laughs> Let me show y'all what I got going on, y'all. I brought my little side, y'all, so they can get some of this filtered sunshine. They're doing great. Bought my sweet potatoes out here. Let me turn it around so y'all can see. Oh, wow. Okay. Starting to get a couple of slips. On this one, I'm starting to get a couple of slips. Got my little banana plants out here. Catching all of this beautiful sun rays, y'all. Beautiful day out here in southeast Louisiana. I don't know. It might be about 70 right now. Maybe. I don't think it's 75. Maybe around 70. But whew, the sun is out. Please excuse my neighbor's dog. She doesn't like when I'm outside in my garden. So, yeah, she's barking. But I don't pay her no mind. I love being in my garden. So, I just want to give y'all a quick peek at this blueberry oh my god y'all look look oh my god this thing is exploding and y'all i've been looking when the little white pieces fall off it turns brown and then the other part that stays on is starting to get a little bigger so it's starting to I think turned into a pink blueberry. Can't wait. <laughs> so these are two other blueberry plants that I have. This one have a few little, I don't know, I guess they're going to be buds. I'm not sure. This one don't have anything, but that's okay. Banana plant. Oh my God. So the banana plant itself took a hit in the freeze. I think it's still alive. I hope it's still alive. But these little banana pups down here are, so far, I think I see about four of them. So not sure what I'm going to do with those banana pups. Let me get from over on this side because as long as I'm over by this fence, he's going to continue barking at me. So I'm going to go over to the main side, y'all, the side that I'm growing most of my food on. So I'm going to give y'all a wide view of what I see hold on so basically this is my garden space not a huge space but enough for me enough for what I'm growing back here so first grow bag is some onions uh, look like I need the water because it looks a little dry but I will be watering and I do water with rain water y'all all right, but these are getting huge. I had these stakes in the ground when it got cold to try to cover them up, try to keep them from freezing. I kept them there and I just added a little string and this kind of holds some of them up, but either I'm gonna have to cut them or put a string a little bit higher so that they could come up a little higher because right now they're laying on the ground if it rains all of these are going to turn brown so that'll be worked on 
this bed right here is my garlic bed. So these are two different types of garlic, almost split down the middle. This side looking a little, a little scraggly, not sure what's going on. This side is looking great, nice and green and healthy looking. So I went ahead and I added some fertilizer to the garlic, well, all, everything. I added the 511 Fish Emotion and I also added the more bloom. So now the 511 fish emotion, Alaskan fish emotion is nitrogen, has more nitrogen. The more bloom has more phosphorus. So the leaves needs the nitrogen and the crop underneath the ground needs the phosphorus. So hopefully the little yellow leaves and everything, I'll go ahead and take some of those off and clean it up a little bit and hopefully the fertilizer will do the job this one here y'all is another bag of garlic uh, i don't know if y'all could see this but these things are huge that's my finger and it is about twice the size of my finger so and there's another really really big one back here Y'all, look how big this is. Not sure if this is elephant garlic or not because I purchased it from the store. I don't know. We'll see. So, this is another bag of onions. So, I planted these two bags the beginning of November, maybe around the 1st of November. I planted these two bags around the 1st of December. So... Hopefully, I have a lot of onions and garlic, y'all. So, right here are some turnips. And I'm starting to see the little purple down underneath. Not that big yet, but they're growing. Next to it is the carrots. Y'all, oh, the sun is so bright. I can barely see what I'm doing. Okay, so down in here, I can kind of see couple of carrots down up in there so I think I might pull a few when I do my harvest some more turnips that are looking great these are some radishes and some beets this needs to be harvested really soon so I will be doing a harvest on that so y'all my potatoes I planted these potatoes and they're starting to come up Got a couple of little sprouts right there. I think I was one back here. So they're coming up. Looking good. I have a few little things around the apple tree. Let me get out the shot. These are some celery. And a few little odds and ends seeds. All right, so over here, I have Swiss chard and I have spinach they do look alike y'all if I didn't know the difference I probably would say all of this is Swiss chard but these right here are spinach with a couple of onions down up in there this is a Swiss chard plant this is three Swiss chard plants and I love that color this is a little orange one coming up and this is also three Swiss chard plants. These are some bunching onions. Those are some bulbing onions. So I'm going to bring you over here. This is my parsley. Y'all, this grows so fast. I literally cut this down not too long ago. And yeah, it's ready to harvest again. So I'll be harvesting some parsley. Oregano is starting to grow back again. I cut everything down from there and it's starting to grow back. This is a strawberry plant that I had from last year. I had about four of them. Only one of them survived and now it looks like it's starting to put on some new growth. So looking forward to that. This is a pineapple mint plant. I went ahead and cut all of the stems and stuff back and now it's starting to grow back again. And that is some celery. So over in the middle, 
yep my daughter hasn't came and got her lettuce yet so you know what i will be cutting this up and fixing me a salad if i don't fix a salad right away i will wash it and put it in a ziploc bag and put it in the fridge until she comes or until i decide to fix me a salad so down here in all of these little pockets is the blue curly kale so i think i have six of them all the way around the bottom over here is some more parsley this is the triple curl parsley and it's a lot of it so this needs to be harvested the chives are starting to grow back i cut this all the way down and the green onions also need to be harvested these are in this little pot right here are some red onions and they're looking great probably have to cut some of this right here is leeks all the way down and this pot is leeks all the way over in this pot because this is a separate pot starting right here is all onion and y'all see the greens on these onions dang there's no joke so on the other side this orange long pot is all leeks and y'all they're getting big never grew leeks before so right here is this is a, a broccoli plant that was inside the crop cage all of the um broccolis look like they went ahead and went to flower so i went ahead and took it out and instead of getting rid of it i'm gonna leave it here just for the bees let the bees enjoy it back here i still have the three uh red cabbages back here in this pot and i also have the collards that i took off the other day i have that back here but i thought these were collards y'all i think these are turnips or radishes so it's three of them in here these are not collards these are the collards <laughs> so and i also have a couple of onions in here that are looking great so all of this is behind the crop cage no behind the greenhouse in the greenhouse i have this jalapeno pepper and i have these they're looking good um look like they took a little hit from the cold but it's getting a lot of new leaves look at the uh, two onions in this pot look look at this y'all two onions in this pot that's it so these are looking great so let me go back to oh right here is some more kale it's the red russian and another blue curly kale down here by the onions so over here is the karabi now karabis um I need to do a harvest on them and I will be doing a harvest really really soon on the karabis I think I have about six of them in here that needs to be well three of them that probably need to be harvested the other three could probably grow a little while longer excuse me y'all I'm trying to unzip in this thing that's one that I will be doing a harvest on. Uh, let me move this out the way. That's one. But y'all, yeah, they all are looking great down up in here. This one, maybe it's not quite as big as I thought it was. So this might grow a little bit longer. So at least two. And this is another white Vienna. All the rest of them are the purple. And over here is that one broccoli plant that's in here. So y'all, inside the crop cage. Inside the crop cage. So down at the bottom 
is the red acre cabbage. All right, then at the top, trying to position myself so I'm not in the shot in the sun, y'all. All right, so that's one of the cabbages. And y'all, you can't see the cabbage for all of the onion greens because <laughs> all of these pots have some uh, onion planted in them. And y'all, these onions are getting so big. So, but let me go back to the cabbage. <laughs> So this is one of the cabbages that I harvested. Y'all look, the center is starting to grow back. I've heard that if you don't cut it completely down, it'll grow another head or, of cabbage. So you know what? It's going to stay up in there and I'm going to see what happens. And it's going to give the onions a, t a chance to go ahead and do what it got to do. So yep more cabbage and onions more cabbage and onions right here y'all i'm sorry but the sun is like blocking out my view of what i'm seeing in my phone all right so more cabbage and onions more cabbage and onions more cabbage and onions and y'all i'm starting to see some of these spots on the outer leaves of these cabbages not sure what's going on with them but i'm gonna watch them if i feel like it's gonna be affecting the actual cabbage itself i'll go ahead and harvest it but right now it's just the outer leaves so i'll just watch that so that's another cabbage and i think that's one of the flat dutch that's another one they seem to be doing great and then okay so down below there's some more cabbages. That's another red acre. That's another flat dutch. And y'all, I think all of these have some kind of onion or garlic or something in them. That's another one. So, back this way are the red acre. And y'all, they are looking great. They are getting big. They are starting to curl in. Which is what I am waiting on. So, I have three along this row on this side i have three along the row on this side and i have one in a pot so that's all red acre next to it i have the mustard greens and y'all i just did a harvest on the mustard greens just the other day and they are looking great after i did my harvest i went ahead and fertilized all of the pots and bags with some 511 fish emulsion and they're growing back y'all this is the bed of collards that i did a big old harvest on you couldn't see the soil that's how big the leaves were so now the harvest is done you can see the soil but it won't be for long because they are coming back y'all so let me get back over here this is the collard tree that I harvested from and y'all this thing is tall but I got a good bit of the leaves off and they were great so down below is one of the issues I have to take care of so these three plants right here this one this one and this one they are um, cauliflowers this little one never really got going like it never really grew it had a little small cauliflower head and now it's turning dark so I'm gonna just go ahead and pull this out this one is doing great is looking beautiful <laughs> It's lavender and it has like a spot of purple beautiful but the leaves are not standing up they're lying down so this one will probably be coming out real soon and this one is looking great the head is solid so this one i'll leave this one i'll harvest and this one i'll just pull out so those are the only three cauliflowers that i have left so next to it is one of the broccoli plants this one has a lot of little florets on it 
so I will be harvesting these look like they're trying to start opening up and I'm gonna get them before they open up y'all this is the other broccoli plant it has a lot of flowers on it but it still have some florets that are not open so I'll do a harvest on that and then I'll let it be I have one more I think this is another bro uh, broccoli plant I'm not sure which one but this is a broccoli so back here I have both of my purple sprouting broccoli so this tall one right here and this one is a purple sprouting this one right here is a Romanisco don't see anything forming on this one yet but let me back out y'all give me a second this one is the one I was excited about y'all look at that Romanisco beautiful I love the coloring on it beautiful y'all as I pull stuff out I am making a little bit more room for myself inside this crop cage <laughs> Because it was packed to the brim, y'all. It was packed. I'm not complaining. <laughs> but yeah, I could barely move around up in there. So, it's a lot that needs to be done. It's a lot that needs to be harvested. I will be doing a harvest really, really, really soon. Maybe like later today soon. On a lot of that stuff that's in there, but... I just wanted to kind of pan around and show y'all what I got going on. Um, a couple of people asked about the pots that I use, the grow bags that I use. Just kind of give y'all an idea. These little pots right here. Oh, wait. Yeah. They have the water reservoir underneath. So that keeps water. So once the, the soil gets dry, if there's water underneath here, it will wick the water up and it'll keep the plants hydrated. These, I believe, might be like a two, three gallon pot. These that I have the cabbages in, um, they're a little bigger. I would say they're about a five gallon. I'm not sure I buy these from DD's and DD's don't have the size pots on the um on the tag they just have a tag so these small ones here or i think like the three gallon these round grow bags are 30 gallon and these grow bags these two is a 10 that's a 15 these two are a 10 that's a 10 and that's a 15 gallon so I wanted to give you guys an idea of what I'm growing in, kind of give y'all a size. When I get ready to um, plant up some of my new plants, I will do a video showing what I use as far as my soil, uh, what I put in my pots, the fertilizer and everything. So uh, I will do that so, so you guys can kind of see what I'm using uh, to grow my garden. All right, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go. I have had a great time visiting with y'all, with you guys today. Thank y'all for coming along. Thank y'all for watching the videos, for subscribing, just kind of being there with me for comments and everything. I really, really, really appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, y'all stay safe. Y'all be blessed. And I will talk to you at another time. Bye.